okay, model synthesis, create a state variable, turn down the cutoff, crank up cutoff modulation, take the Q to a low level, create an audio output. I like to use the gain in for that, but you can use anything else, what you like. But this is a nice stage before anything happens. And uh, let's create a MIDI note node. And on the gate, let's create an ADSR modulated node and plug this into the filter input. By connecting the pitch to the cutoff modulation, we have something that decays. Yeah, nice for starters. And the lower the resonance, the longer the decay. Nice. And uh, let's create a unison node. And move these to the left. Sorry. Or rather, position this here and convert the pitch to hertz. Create a multiplier on the pitch, uh, on the frequency, and convert it back from hertz to pitch. And now all we need to have is a custom function node on the spread output of the unison, like this. And we are going to call this frequency spread, like this. And let's uh, set this to polyphonic, let's say 32 voices, because why not, and 7 on the spread. Since we chose 7, I'm going to go from x min minimum to minus 4, and x max to 4. This is 8 values, so the 7 should be inside of it. And uh, I'm going to create 8 bars for the uh, x-axis and 32 for the y and uh, no yeah and uh, here the y minimum will be one so that's going to be if, if the values are on the lowest part then uh, we are going to use the fundamental frequency and y max is going to be 33 and i turn on snapping and create a lot of dots here and by default this is going to be a very loud version of the fundamental frequency so i took it down but as you can see we have seven dots here but as soon as i draw in some curve here We get a we get a completely different timber. Nice. And a part of the frequency. Let's use no I keep this on eight and I will use two here. Or rather one. We can use another spread for the decay. And since longer decay requires a lower Q, I'm entering a really low, low number here, and a less low number for the minimum value. And this goes into the resonance modulation of the filter. And let's move these. Oh, I only need the Y snap here. No, the X. Sorry, I'm confused. And we can also create a spread for the volume. So let's create a volume spread. And uh, this is going to be a bit trickier because for y max I choose one, for y minimum I choose minus one, and I will create a y bar so I see where the zero is, 
and uh, let me move all the dots to the center like this and I just turn on X snapping from here and uh, yeah plug in the spread and on the input I create a multiplier and this is going to be going straight into the multi multiplier and now everything is silent and I can turn on the bends like this and I can also invert them so we can phase invert Sounds like a hang drum. So, this is the main idea, and you can control everything using these spreads, even the attack time or the decay time, or you can connect noise into the input or multiply, or, or yeah, on this multi, you can multiply this whole thing with uh, some filter noise or noise and. You can use two SVFs and uh, use different spreads on them. So possibilities are endless. This is a nice way to synthesize sounds and again, something that's not so commonly used. And, and we don't have a dedicated node for model synthesis, but I think this method is pretty convenient and uh, is capable of many things. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.